Hey everyone, Steve White here. In this video, I'll be showing how to make a chain link fence in Blender. For this technique, I'll be using the Curve Tools add-on, which ships with Blender. You just have to enable it in Preferences. Start by creating a plane. Switch to Edit Mode and rotate the plane 90 degrees on the X. Now rotate 45 degrees on the Y. Duplicate the plane with Shift-D and move it up above the original plane. Now switch to vertex mode, make sure you have vertex snapping enabled, select all the points on the top plane, and snap the bottom point of the top plane to the top point on the lower plane. Hit A to select all points, and then hit M and choose Merge by Distance. Select the top right edges on both planes and right click and choose Subdivide. This will create a new vertex point in the middle of both edges. Now select both polygons and hit the X key and choose Faces Only. This will leave the edges behind. Select all the edges on the left half and delete. Select the top edge and the bottom two edges and delete. Now select the top edge and bottom edge, hit E to extrude, and move slightly back on the Y. Select the two front edges on both top and bottom and delete. Now select the points on either side of the small connecting edges and use a double tap of the G key to slide them away slightly. Now enter into object mode, select the object, and from the object menu, choose Convert to Curve. Tap back into edit mode, select the middle points, and now from the edit menu, choose Fillet and Chamfer from the Curve Edit menu. To make it easier to see, go to the Viewport Overlays menu and disable the normals. Now go into the options for the Fillet Chamfer tool, choose Round, and adjust the radius to get a nice curve that doesn't overlap itself. Now go into the Curve menu, go into Geometry, and add some bevel depth. Lower the resolution to 2, and also lower the resolution preview to 2 as well. Back in Object Mode, duplicate the object with Shift-D, and rotate 180 degrees on the Z. Now move the object back just so the two shapes overlap without touching. You'll have to move it back slightly on the Y to get them to overlap properly. Use Ctrl A to apply the rotation, and then select both objects and use Ctrl J to join them together. Now add an array modifier. Under the relative offset, zero out the X value, and then slide the object up on the Z axis until the object meets at their ends. You can use the Shift key while dragging to move in smaller increments. Activate the Merge option to merge these points where the objects meet. Now increase the count of the array to make the fence the height you need. To avoid adding a lot of polygons to your scene, you can make use of collection instances. Select your object, right click, and then add to a new collection. Name it Chain Link Fence. Now you can use Shift A menu to add an instance of that collection to your scene. Slide it over on the X until the links overlap without touching. Now just duplicate that instance as many times as needed to fill the length of the fence, all while maintaining a low polygon count in the scene. You can duplicate multiple instances at once to speed up the process.